Morning, y'all. And what an elegant morning it is. Looking very elegant this morning, Vanilla. Have a good day at school. I wish you an elegant day in your schooling activities of elegance. Got lessons today. School drop off and pick up. Daddy's day on Tuesday. So yesterday's question we talked about hopefully my slow play ideas videos helped a few of you understand how right you might be getting stuff on the course and how others might be not treating you very fairly. I still think it's a subject that could have so much more talked about it. And the problem is if you look at the comments and you look at obviously my ridiculous Twitter feed yesterday. Is that because anger is still the overriding factor, it always ends in massive arguments. People don't want to have real conversations, they just let emotions cloud it. But um, yeah, take a look at the comments, there's some good ones in there as well. So today's question, what could we do, oh, what could we do to encourage more young people to take up golf? And or are the numbers of young people fine, but obviously we always lose them at that kind of key life stage, don't we? So what could we do to encourage more young people start to begin and start to play golf? Post those comments down below. Uh, hit the thumbs up button as always, and if you're loving the daily vlogs, hit the subscribe button, then you won't miss some. And make sure the little bell notifications illuminated, and that's just all good, isn't it? I think, often. chat guys that's good yeah no I agree let's go to school I hope you both have a really elegant day today guys today's question guys is what would you have to do to get more kids playing golf I don't know um, golf is like, like it's less you know like more less like it's more like slow like calm play children more like more like like quick exciting so it's boring is what you're saying yeah. <laughs> so today's video is going to be about my lesson. I'm going to show you how I use tech a little bit to try and use sentences to change players' ideas and swings. Because I think lots of people kind of miss the point when it comes to tech. They get a bit scared of the numbers, not understanding the numbers. But I want you just to concentrate on some of the language I use with my student to try and move them. Because I think my language has become as basic as it can get, which kind of shows how people want their tech delivered. So no, look, if we show you this, so we see a lie that is averaging two toed up with a driver. Okay. You need to get that near a four. Yep. Yeah, and then a club path that is 2.9 left with a face that is two open to the path. Which I'm guessing is the fair. You you do miss left, but more right and left is yep. the fair. Yep, exactly. Um, and the controlling of the lie is making strike as well for you. Very low and challenging. Okay. So we need to get that handle lower. Yeah. Right, so I have a question for you. Okay. How around your body can you swing and hit the ball? So on that last shot there, I presented zero path, so around my body didn't mean more into out, yep. like lots of people think. And I had the f club 15 degrees towed up where I'm normally between 8 and 10. Okay. You're now averaging the degree 6.4 towed up. Okay. Path is now zero, where you were 2.9 left, so you've moved your path a fraction and the face is now closing to the path nearly every time so maybe the odd pull draw to hitting target subject to strike okay and we've moved you into 6.4 toed up which is kind of where you should be at your height so let's think about that first four i gave to the student last time he came he was taking the club back fine and then pitching the shaft up which is giving him this high handle delivery that contributes to his two-way miss he just doesn't control that big stick he'd practiced that for a few months and he feels like he hasn't got anywhere with it because his numbers were only moved a degree since last time i saw him so i said to him let's just feel like you're swinging 
around and around because if I was to do that I would deliver the toe massively toe ended up I do that my path doesn't change but I change the angle I'm delivering the dynamic lie at when he does it his backswing goes more around he still pitches the shaft compared to that backswing position but he pitches it in a position where he delivers the face the dynamic lie in a much more manageable position and then he starts hitting target more and even though the thought feels really odd the fact that he sees the ball hit target makes him want to do it again so think about my language the simplicity of it I want you I said to him to swing around and around just as low and around as possible as you could without that data to back that up he would think I'm crazy getting him to feel so dramatically different but as you could see it's really effective for him let's answer your questions hey bro what's going on Wonder if you can make a video on alignment. I'm always aimed a little bit further right than I would like, and uh, I would love to see a camera view from your perspective on proper alignment. Thanks, bro. Okay, interesting question and one I get a lot. A camera view from my perspective is going to show you what you would expect, me aiming where I want to aim. Um, the thing with aim for people is it's, it's more about what it does to your action. So for me, aiming with my body assists me to swing on certain lines, but it's not the necessity. I can swing on certain paths, certain lines, regardless where I aim. I simply aim parallel to those paths because that's what makes me feel like I'm going to hit target. So what you're going to see from my perspective it's kind of these ideas so left foot slightly turned out right foot a fraction turned out and i'm in my mind pretty parallel to where i want the ball to go which i think is what you would kind of write down or tell a friend they should do as well often when you find people who are aiming in certain directions it's to do with their delivery to give you an example if i always deliver the club let's say with the face pointing left to wherever my feet point and so the ball starts left and just stays there say then they tend to aim to the right and if that always hits target that's not a problem because it can be very functional the question with people who have got issues with the aim is you need to find out what drives them to see it that way and often it's often it's around delivery so how the face is being delivered loft where the face is in relationship to path and then they're just trying to become and be as functional as possible so if you just change their aim and not that element of delivery they actually play worse so you've got to reverse engineer it again like for me I go from strike then through the numbers then through to what might be going on with that aim uh, and it might not be a fault it actually might be helping you and if you remove that without dealing with what makes you do the aim contradiction then you could be worse all right all right coach you're looking rather elegant if you don't mind me saying right thanks <laughs> Caused quite a stir yesterday. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm just typing something elegantly into my keyboard. Have you uh, had any apologies yet? No, no. And I just wanted I don't know because you're a bit younger than me, and I didn't know is a bad word or a good word. <laughs> that feels like a lower follow through. Yeah. So three, three forts, you're feeling, or two forts, I guess, around, around, and around on the way through. Yeah. That follow through is maybe the most unpleasing feeling, is it? Mm -hmm. It yeah. feels like it's restrictive yeah. almost, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you're just letting it all yeah. fly that way. Absolutely. Yeah, you need to let the club go. Well, that's what I'm saying, because I want the ball not to go to the right. Yeah. Get your hands on. If you do come around, you have to get the club to catch up yeah. to make it easier. But like you say, the drag allows you just to keep the face on your yeah. miss at, at the moment. But your numbers are better, but your odd miss is still to the right. Which, see, I think you're going to get a lot of them. Just bullet balls at the target with that. Nice one. Yeah, <laughs> great shot. To strike, see how high it's gone now yeah. compared to before. It should have been these ones. They were very, very low. No, if somebody came to me and said, do this. Yeah, well, that's the biggest skill we're teaching for me, is persuading someone to feel daft. That's the hard bit. Sometimes I think lots of instructors are too polite. They want to be, they want you to be happy. Yeah. Uh, you'll be happy if you're you hitting it problem. better, not if I just say what you want me to say. Yeah. <laughs> Collected. How you doing back there, Lalo? I was a bit tired still.
So the second spin fork we talked about. I asked him to feel like he's exiting around his body more. Think about high handle and think about what it does to the face. He's losing it a bit to the right. The handle for me is often moving away. Students trying to move hands out and away and up, which then in turn points face often right of a path. Getting students to feel like they're coming around often really worries them because they think that's going to go out to in with past those ideas but what it often does is it gets them some control of face the path because they start throwing the club this way to get it to come around their body rather than just pulling that handle through so he went away with two thoughts swing around and then swing around things that he would often think were completely wrong. If he went on YouTube and watched videos, there'd be people telling him not to do that. But his results were so much better, his delivery was so much better. He felt crazy, but you can see from the video, it didn't look like he was anywhere near as around as he felt, and he hit better shots. There we go, thanks for watching. Another daily vlog done, another interesting day. Hopefully that lets you see how I feel launch monitors get misinterpreted by lots of people. I've seen it on the telly, I've seen it in media, and I definitely see it with some people on social. They get scared, they log on to all the numbers that are getting kind of dished out. Where actually, the way I use tech, and to be honest with you, all the good pros I've spent time with, it's for heat as night tonight. Also very much have simplified, I think, over the years, their delivery through measured tech. Because what it allows you to do is quantify your statements. You don't have to make your statements golf pro grandeur stuff because you can deliver it to a person and then quantify if that statement has fixed them help them or not help them and i think without that quantification golf pros have searched for in the past is loads of fancy words now you'll see fancy words used in social posts because golf pros are not dealing with a person they're dealing with a mass so they want to give correct information but you don't deliver it to a student like that unless they need it delivered that way. Go and post comments down below, let me know. Hopefully this video has helped you and you should definitely go and sort out a instructor who uses tech who hopefully can deliver these sentences for you to help you play better. Let me know why kids aren't playing golf as well. Why do you think or what could we do to encourage more kids to play? Milo thinks they need to run around more. And as always remember, keep hitting that like button. If you're watching the video, hit that like button for me. And if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, go on. Give it a click, subscribe, loads of fun, free content. It might make you play a bit better as well. Uh, another little tip for you. If you're gonna run a poll to gather information about people's ideas, right? Mm -hmm. And some of the options on that poll are there to show that some people have got it wrong. Mm -hmm. You must always tell people before you post that poll how you're trying to catch them out. <laughs> <laughs> But they don't watch it though, do they? No, no. <laughs> Lots of, I'm not watching that. That blur, those apples that I've never tried are bloody well. <laughs>